Okay, so here we are. We're going to go into the interior of the bus now, but before we do, let's talk about the 32-inch wide entrance uh, on our MFSAB, uh, which is the largest in the industry. And you'll notice we've got yellow nosing on our steps as an added safety feature here. We've got both left and right side grab rails because there are left and right-handed individuals in the world, and obviously we want to make as much accommodation to our riders as we can. So as we come up into the interior of the bus, I'm going to have a seat here at the driver's control, and we can talk some more about the features that we have uh, in our MFSABs. Um, right off the top, we'll point out we've got remote mirrors for the exterior rear view mirrors both left and right side and uh, as we pointed out earlier those are stainless steel bracketry to uh, lower your cost of maintenance and extend the life of the of, of the mirrors um, we've got standard controls for the Chevrolet uh, chassis that uh, this particular bus is is built on and um, all of the heating and ventilation and air control systems as you would expect are here radio here standard GM radio um, you've got 12 volt plenty of 12 volt supply here add a functionality for all your needs uh, for low voltage power uh, needs for your cell phones or your your GPS equipment uh, here are the controls for the bus to include your door your toggle switch to open and close your your main door okay and you've got dome lights on the interior, you've got under seat heating, high and low, and you've got a heat switch 15 minute timer for your exterior mirrors. And this bus happens to be equipped with a rear AC feature, which is very, very convenient for our needs here in the Northeast in the spring and summertime. And um, one thing that is great to point out is I'll put the brake on here, we'll shift this into reverse. In the rear view mirror from GM, you've got a backup camera here to assist um, with, your, uh, with your driving skills there. So we think that's a great feature to have as well. And um, of course, as you would expect, a full complement of safety equipment is going to be included in the MFSAB package, as well as your school bus package, starting with your first aid kit, your body fluid cleanup kit, you've got road triangles, reflective road triangles, chalk blocks, over here by the entrance door you've got a fire extinguisher, you've got your seat belt cutter here. Also you've got a little storage compartment here for uh, various items, a little glove compartment that fairly easy to open and operate, very convenient for your needs. One of the things that uh, is, is, speaks to the uh, ease of maintenance and functionality of the, the Microbird product is it's very simple in design but effective in its approach where you've got solid state relays, no printed circuit boards of any kind to vibrate or crack or shatter. Um, you've got standard automotive type fusing here very well designed, well laid out, easy to understand and diagnose uh, electrical system. So again, speaking to the ease of maintenance uh, for our customers. Um, this bus is equipped with overhead racks uh, to provide a little more functionality and versatility for your, your passengers. Um, all of the Wiring is encased in an easy to access molding above the windows here. The speaking of the side windows, extruded aluminum frame, there is no sloppiness or side to side movement on these windows. They're gasketed and very well sealed to prevent water and dust infiltration, keeping again the, the dry passengers uh, comfortable and dry. This particular bus is equipped with these activity seats and durable vinyl covering with seat belts. Okay. Um, 
as we talked earlier about the uh, Colorado Rack and Kentucky pole testing features, uh, the construction standards in the Microbird bus are one of the key features that help Microbird uh, and Bluebird achieve those uh, qualifications and, and pass those testing metrics. Starting with the uh, construction, interior con construction, you've got two longitudinal structural members that run either side of the roof hatch here. Okay, there is also an additional two longitudinal structural members in the corner and above the windows. And those are all tied together by one piece roof bows that start on one side of the bus at the floor level and run up and over from the floor level up and over between the windows and down to the other side of the bus. And those roof bows are connected and welded to the structural members that run longitudinally. 14 gauge galvanized steel and that structure and that uh, integrity of the vehicle is what helps uh, protect the passengers in rollover side and front and rear impact protection and that's what gets you that uh, ability of the bus to, to pass that Colorado Rack and Kentucky Pole Test uh, certification. Very important detail to point out. And in the back of the bus as we come back you'll see that we've got these optional tubular storage compartments here for all manner of sporting equipment, uh, whatever extra parcels that will be carried around by your students. Um, this particular bus has got a vandal lock feature which is engaged here. Okay, if you need to make your bus secure at some point as well as a rear air conditioning system here to make your passengers uh, comfortable. It's important to also point out one more thing about the structural integrity of the Microbird bus. We have a five-part floor system which is unique to the industry and we start with a uh, metal galvanized 14 gauge metal galvanized floor plan uh, I'm sorry floor pan and that is sprayed with adhesive and then they lay down a plywood flooring on top of that and that flooring is not particle board it is bona fide plywood furniture grade voidless plywood and uh, to that is that plywood is screwed to the floor they then uh, coat it with a sealant and an adhesive and then they apply the rubber flooring that you see here this gray flooring on top of that and then the final measure for the floor uh, is that from the underside it is completely undercoated before it is assembled uh, to the, the body chat uh, the bus chassis the entire floor member I'm sorry the entire floor from the inside is sealed and gasketed again to prevent water infiltration into the flooring system uh, to help prevent corrosion and premature decay uh, of, the, of the bus. Um, one last thing we'll talk about are the side rails on the bus. Again, we talked about impact protection. The seats are tied into, we can see it right over here, the seats along the length of the bus are tied into this 3 16th of an inch angle iron uh, which connects the barriers here, the front barriers and the seat frames as well. So that adds additional um, side impact protection and ties everything together with the roof bows, the flooring system, all is a complete system that provides uh, one of the safest vehicles for student transportation on the road today. Uh, we greatly appreciate your time and attention to this video. If you have any questions or concerns or require additional detail, or information regarding Anderson Motors, Anderson Bluebird Bus Sales of New England, and our Bluebird and Microbird products, please reach us on our website at www.andersonmotors.com. You can also reach us at 401-434-5900. All of our Microbird and Bluebird buses are available for purchase off of the Sourcewell or NJPA uh, contract nationwide. 
And for our customers in Massachusetts, uh, all of our buses are also available for purchase off of the state combis or VEH 98 contracts. Uh, we hope you found this video uh, very educational and beneficial, and we look forward to hearing from you uh, from some time in the future. Again, my name is Jason Raposa, Business Development Manager with Anderson Bluebird Bus, and thank you for your time today.